So, I'll be going over how to create custom songs in Pistol Whip. I followed this guide, but I felt that there were certain sections that I just had some difficulty in that the guide didn't cover. So hopefully I'll be able to clear up any of those issues that you had. I'm no expert, so if there are any problems, uh, your best bets are probably to find somewhere else to help, but hopefully this will at least get you started. So first we have to download WYS or WISE. <clears throat> Once you install it, you'll see this page. You probably won't have any recent projects. What you'll need to do to create a new project is go under the version that you installed. At this time, I don't think it matters which one. I believe I've done one with both, and both of them work just fine. Click on the drop-down arrow and go to New Project. I already have one open, so I'll start with this. Once your project is open, you'll want to go down to Layouts and ensure that you're under the schematic scheme. If you're not here, uh, you'll have some difficulty finding what you're looking for right off the bat. It's not too hard to get there though. Once you're in schematic view, you can go ahead and minimize Ys for now. Next, you'll need to go up and open Audacity. Audacity is how we get whatever music file we're looking for and convert it to a WAV. This is also fairly simple. All you have to do is simply go to open, find your music files. In this case, I'll go with what's already open at Green Day. And I'll choose a song that I've been planning on converting. Once it's opened, all you have to do is click export as WAV. I save it to my desktop for easy finding but I plan to have an actual location for this in the future. Once it's been converted, you can go ahead and minimize or close Audacity and open up Wise again. Go up to the top and go to find Import Audio Files. This is where things start to get a little confusing in this program if you're not used to it. Here, which took me some time to find, you'll want to go to Add Files. Any of the other locations that you choose here are for the program itself. Once you've opened that up, you'll want to go to wherever you saved your music files, in my case desktop, and select the WAV. Once selected, you can import. Once it's been imported, nothing changes. What gives? Over here, click under the Master Audio Bus, and you should see your imported WAV. Right-click it, and go down to Edit. Under Edit, you should have this, probably this panel come up. You'll want to move over to Conversion, and Conversion is where, you're always, where you will always be when using WISE for Pistol Whip custom songs. Go down to Edit, and this window will pop up. What you'll be doing is going to the format and changing it from PCM to Vorbis. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click Convert, and then click OK. It will convert the audio file, and WISE has a specific file location, which personally took me quite some time to find. If I had actually read through uh, the custom song guide, you can see here that it's actually fairly straightforward. I already have the window open, but here it is in your C users uh, username and then documents under WISE projects. It'll be under the dot cache of whatever the file name for your WISE project is. In my case, help pistol whip dot cache slash windows slash sfx. In my case, as you can just see from this little bit, which I will probably end up editing out, but maybe not, we shall see, I actually used a different project name for the example that I just used. 
my previous ones I had had as help pistol whip because I was trying to figure it out on my own time. In this case, here it is under the pistol whip dot cache windows sfx. So now we have our wem and we've converted it from audacity using wise. Now what do we do? Personally, I found through Reddit a program on GitHub which has you select your pistol whip installation folder and then it opens up the pistol whip music manager. As you can see this has the list all the names and you can simply click and there's the drop down of any of your previously imported WEMs. If you haven't imported a WEM, all you need to do is click it and locate the location of where you keep it. There we go. Now, it won't show immediately, but if you go in the drop down menu, there you go. There's our just imported WEM that has just been converted from FLAC to WAV and then once again converted to WAV to WEM. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I know that it took me a good half an hour just to get initially sorted out, so hopefully this process speeds that up for you a little bit. There is a way to automate this process, however I haven't gone about getting that sorted for myself yet, so we'll see in the future if there's a video for that to come. Take it easy.